in this gospel today, our Lord sends out missionaries. He sends missionaries out to prepare for his coming, to proclaim the kingdom of God, that it is very near. In the Catholic Church, there's been countless missionaries throughout the ages, and there are two co-patrons of missionaries. The first one is St. Francis Xavier, who if we know his story, he went, uh, all, he went east. He went to Northern Africa, to India, to China, and to Japan, and many other places along the way in order to proclaim the gospel. And a little while ago, we had even come to Hamilton, his arm, the arm that had baptized thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people all along that journey. He has been one of the greatest missionaries in the history of the church, for sure. Also, uh, today we honor in a particular way, October the 1st, St. Therese of Lisieux. She also is a, one of the patrons of the missionaries, although her patronage is very different. She too, like Francis Xavier, had the desire that the faith would be shared, that she could bring about the conversion of many people in the whole world. This is what she said. She said, in spite of my littleness, I would like to enlighten souls, as did the prophets and the doctors. I have the vocation of the apostles. I would like to travel over the whole earth to preach your name and to plant your glorious cross on, inf on infidel soil. But one mission alone would not be sufficient for me. I would want to preach the gospel on all five continents. You see her, her desire, right? Everywhere she wants to go. Uh, on all five continents simultaneously at the same time and even to the most even to the remo most remote isles i would be a missionary not for a few years only but from the beginning of creation until the consummation of the ages we see in her words her desire right which is so deep to be a missionary for everyone in the whole world that they would all know the love of christ for St. Therese, she was selected to go on mission. She was selected with a small group of nuns to found a new convent in, 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 in Vietnam. But because of her sickness, she was never able to actually go there. Does that mean that St. Therese wasn't a missionary? No, because one of the things that she learned and found was that even though she was in her cloister and she never left, she was behind the grill. Nevertheless, through her prayer, and through her sacrifice, through her, her offerings to God, she helped many sinners come to conversion. She helped many people's hearts be open to the grace of God, so much so that the church calls her co-patron to the missionaries. And so for us too, right, we want to have a similar heart as Therese, and this is the heart of Christ for the conversion of, of, of everyone in the whole world. And we can truly help to bring that about by, just like Therese, praying for it and making offering sacrifices for this intention. Today we ask St. Therese to inspire us in our hearts, to, uh, that our hearts would be bigger, that we would also desire for the conversion of the world for greater missionary efforts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the 